welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a really fun unboxing video from a really amazing perfume retailer site, Golden Scent. As a reminder, before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you enjoyed it and make sure to share any recommendations you have on fragrances you think I should check out or even websites where you guys buy fragrances. I really want to know where you guys are shopping too. So let's dig in. Oh my god. Oh boy, this is a big, big box. I have no idea what's in here. And oh my gosh, they gift wrapped everything. How sweet, oh my god. Okay, so let's open up the first package. How many do we have here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, did I count that right? Seven. Okay, we have seven packages. Oh my god. What is this? Charcoal. <laughs> Okay, so we got some charcoal. I've never tried this brand before. It's Noor, one of my favorite names in the world, which means light, and it's like rainbow charcoal, which I've never tried before. So I'm guessing there's some Bahur in here, which makes me really excited because I love Bahur. So I'm definitely really excited to try it. I actually wanna open this up because I've never seen interesting charcoal. Like usually it's just silver or black. Let's see. Wow, it's all colorful. Different colors of charcoal, and it's swift light charcoal, so this will be great for burning before. I usually don't burn before on actual charcoal. I usually use electric burners because I struggle keeping it lit. I, I struggle burning charcoal, so this is probably gonna be really awesome. Just fast activating charcoal. Okay, which one do you guys think is the before? Hmm. Maybe this, I guess. Let's see. All right, so I'm gonna open up. Oh my god, I think it's a before burner. Let's see. Let's do the big box next. Oh my god. Is that a unicorn? Is that a horse? Oh my god. What is this? Oh my god. This is so pretty and interesting. I think it's a burner. I think, I think. I think you put the charcoal in here and the udon here and then the smoke comes out out of here to make like a fun little design around this wording. So if you guys understand what this says, comment down below, let me know if you've tried this before. Also let me know. So inside here there's like this little compartment. I think you put the charcoal in here and then the oud on top and you slide it in. You put this on top and you've got a little beautiful like smoke coming out like a little design. Super cool. Cool. So I'm going to go with this Now, I want to find the oud. I feel like there must be oud here. Okay, I'm going to open up this one next. I really hope it's oud. I love oud. Let's see. Let's try. I suck at unwrapping gifts. <laughs> like, I'm so messy. Oh my gosh. I think this is a perfume. <gasps> so pretty looking. Look at this. Beautiful little drawing, this art over here. So pretty. Casa Morati. I think that's how you say it. So I think this is a perfume at the Eau Parfum. Actually, I've never heard of this brand before, so I'm super excited because I love learning about new brands. So pretty. Yeah. Guys, how pretty is this bottle? It's purple. I love purple. Oh my gosh. I, okay, I've never never tried this brand before. As far as I remember, I, I don't remember trying it. But this looks really beautiful. Oops, let me take this off. So, we've got a beautiful purple bottle, um, 100 ml. This is made in Italy. Oops. And it's called La Tosh. Smells like floral, fresh, very floral. It's really nice and heavy. It feels very like luxurious. This is cute. I definitely want to look into more of their perfumes. This scent itself is not so me. It's a bit too fresh for me. And I really love this bottle. It's so like vintage looking. So I'm definitely going to be looking into more of this brand's perfumes. To be super honest, this exact scent is not me. It's like a green floral and it has violet, which 
Typically, I don't like it all, but occasionally I'll enjoy it. In a fragrance, we have top notes of green mandarin, Italian lemon, middle notes of violet leaf, eucalyptus, and Bulgarian rose, and base notes of musk, patchouli, Madagascar, vanilla, and amber. So maybe the dry down will be better, but for me, the top, I'm not such a green, green lover when it comes to, to fragrances. So let's open the next package. I feel like this is gonna be the oud, although maybe not. I'm excited. I don't know what this is yet. Oh, it's a perfume. Eau de Parfum. Saffron, Bulgarian Rose, Oud, Wood, and Amber. Whoa. Those are all scents that I love so much. Okay, I can't see the actual brand name. Hmm. Okay. Just says very important notes. I don't know if that's the fragrance name. <laughs> all right. Okay, cool. It has the notes on the bottle. We're going to be doing that soon. Okay, so this fragrance is actually made in the UAE, local brand here, woohoo! So this perfume house is called Sarib, I hope I'm saying that right, S-A-R-I-B. So this is a floral oriental, which is like 1000% me, I love floral oriental, so let's try it and see how it smells. Mm. I'm gonna let it dry down, it's very like spicy right now. So the perfume brand is Sarib, and the collection is Very Important Notes, and this is fragrance number two. And the notes are saffron, pepper, rose, oud, amber. And for me, I, I feel like it's a super spicy fragrance. Especially when you first spray it, it's very spicy. I definitely smell the pepper and the saffron. And now as it's drying down, it's a little bit more floral, which I like. When I first sprayed it, it was a little bit too spicy for me. But now it's drying down a lot nicer. Mm, interesting. I've also never heard of this brand. Another exciting brand to explore. Um, I love finding new brands. So I'm definitely going to see if there's any more cool fragrances by this perfume house to check out. And I love that it's a UAE brand. I love supporting local. All right, where's the oud? I can't find it. Maybe. You know, I kind of smell it. Let's see. Let's see, is it in here? I really want to find it. I hope it's in here. Imagine like it's not even in here. It should be. Um, it's also Saturday, this local brand. This is Eau Parfum. Oh, I really want to oud. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Ooh. How cool is this bottle? This bottle is beautiful. There's like all this Arab calligraphy on the bottle. Nice big size, 120 ml. And this is called, it says Base of Melody. I think it says Al Nagam. Okay, let's spray this for the first time. Mm. Okay, this one is much more meat than the others. So this fragrance, it says Spicy Fragrance. And it has nutmeg, lavender, patchouli, and amber. Ah, this fragrance is really nice. It's a little bit more on the unisex side, like it's kind of masculine, but I love more masculine fragrances. This is definitely something I could picture both men and women wearing comfortably. I love it. It's very aromatic, it's very spicy, but it's also very like um, gourmand at the same time, like from the amber. This one is definitely the most me out of all of these three fragrances. Oh, and I love the bottle, it's so pretty. I do wish they had some English writing so it's easier to like tell what it is, but it's really cool, it's gorgeous, very nice, and made in the UAE. All right, two more boxes to go. Oh my God. Imagine there's no oud in here, they can't do that to me. Oh, hair candy sugar shock? This sounds like it's a thousand percent me, just by the name. Could be wrong. But it says candy addict. Me, such a candy addict. I love smelling like candy. That's like my goal in life, is to smell like candy. All right, so this says, use any time of the day or night to add moisture and hydration. Okay, that's exciting. I love when hair mist have like actual great ingredients in their product, in the formula. Nice, big, generous bottle, 100 ml. Made in the UAE as well. 
So we didn't have too much information on the actual notes um, on the website. It just says the top is very fruity, the middle is cotton candy, and the base is caramel. So to me, that is like perfection. I never tried this before. I don't even know how this like slipped by me. So let's try it on this side of my hair. And my hair is dirty right now, so I need this. Let's see if this does the trick. I definitely feel like my hair is like more not oily but I feel I feel the formula like I definitely noticed like touching my hair it feels like more like there's something on it you know like shiny so in my hair I didn't smell such a big difference but my hair is dirty we tried it on Greta on freshly cleaned hair and I actually smelled it much more I'm gonna spray a little bit more because I'm I really want to smell it properly let's give it a minute guys this is Greta yes my model <laughs> and our new joiner amazing team so we're spraying it on her hair and it actually it smells it smells good on my hair it's not picking up and again I don't know if it's because it's dirty or what but I'm just gonna spray it again and do you like the way it smells yeah it smells like a bit fruity candy fresh. yeah mm. it just it smells fruity and fresh I get that too. And a little bit, of, I smell a little bit of the cotton candy, but not as much as I'd, I'd like it to smell like. I guess I was expecting a sugar shock, and that's the thing with naming it. It's so important to try and describe what you're getting, because I have to be honest, because it's called sugar shock, I'm not as like excited as it probably would be if I didn't have that name. So, last package from this amazing delivery. Let's see if it's the oud. I don't feel like it's gonna be oud. So that's usually like the ground up food cubes. So let's see if that's what it is. Oh my god, I've never been so excited. Okay. It is. It's the little oud balls that are like ground up together and they mix it with other things as well to create these little balls that you burn on top of charcoal. Mm, interesting, I really want to burn this. So this is from the same brand, Sarib, as same brand as these two perfumes. And this is called Rimal. And it says this has natural oud powder as well as Arabic gum, rose water, amber, and musk. Mm, smells interesting. So this smells very interesting. Very cool, I'm so happy there was actually some before in here because I was really wanting to try it with their rainbow charcoal that we got. So we're done unboxing all the gifts from Golden Scent. So I really love discovering new brands, new products, so I'm definitely gonna go back onto their website and see if there's any other interesting things that I wanna try out for the first time. I love that majority of these are all from the UAE. I think everything except this this one is from Italy but the rest are all from the UAE which is super cool and yeah I hope to try some new um, scents from them and see if there's anything that will be one of my faves um, but I'll definitely be trying out more of their perfumes so thank you so much guys and definitely check out Golden Scent if you're looking for some UAE home brands or brands from the region so as you guys know in every video I like to end it with the quote of the day and this was from the legendary Estee Lauder. Her quote is, a perfume is like a new dress. It makes you quite simply marvelous. Which is so true. Stay marvelous. Stay love. I love you guys.